and other, vs, another. I just edited this answer on unix.sx. The original sentence was, but it won't transform it to another format. I changed this to, but it won't transform it to another format. The second form is standard, but is the first correct? The string another is vanishingly rare in English. In contrast another is positively pervasive. I think it would be fair to say that the second has eclipsed the first to the point of making the first unacceptable, even though it is a grammatical string. Both an and another are members of the category of determiners, while other, on the other hand, is an adjective. There's no grammatical reason why det plus adjective would be unacceptable. So, it must simply be a matter of convention that makes another unacceptable. Here is a general rule of thumb, if you mean a different noun, then it is more appropriate to use an other, if you mean an additional noun, then it is more appropriate to use another. So in your example you should use, but it won't transform it to another format. Also take a look at Brett Reynolds' answer. It is good from a syntactical point of view. In my opinion, just because an other is vanishingly rare, that doesn't make its usage unacceptable. In my situation, which is advising, via a letter, a candidate for an employment position who has not been chosen, it doesn't seem appropriate for me to tell him that another candidate has been selected, but it does seem appropriate for me to tell him that another candidate has been selected. My aversion to another is because that seems to me to be saying that an additional candidate has been selected, rather than a different candidate being selected. Bottom line, that distinction is my rule of thumb too. Historically, another and an other are simply two ways to write the same thing, and those dictionaries that are extensive in their example quotations may include an other as an example of another. A similar word is cannot which is merely a way to write cannot. There is no difference in meaning between the two, all meanings of all sense of one are also a meaning of a sense of the other. But history having moved on, we simply don't use an other much as we don't use manners for mans, neither are for neither, and so on. As such your edit was correct. About the one case I can think of where an other is to be favored over another is if translating Rambo's J is to an order, I'd favor, I is an other, to I is another, but bending the rules to put an emphasis on the word other in this way is acceptable precisely because one has already broken them in using the rule breaking I is to match the rule breaking J is